What up, Buck Lightning? Roblox just saw Wonder Woman. I actually, it's the second movie I've gotten to see this week, which is nice. Uh, this is going to be a little more straightforward than Baywatch, hopefully. Uh, really good movie. Wonder Woman, you know, um, all these people that are saying it was it's one of the best superhero movies of all time, completely false, completely false. But Wonder Woman might be one of the most enjoyable movies I've seen this year, and I've seen a few. Um, it's definitely up there. I, I uh, there are certainly things here and there that I didn't like about it. Um, that I didn't like is a strong. Strong, well, it's not that strong, but it's it's stronger than it should be. Um, there are things that did bug me. Uh, it's certainly borrowed heavily from the Captain America First Avengers movie, and shamelessly. Um, and, uh, you know, and there's some silliness there. Uh, especially, you know, when you watch the Amazons fight, there's a lot of acrobatics that are... I actually laughed out loud at one shot of uh, an Amazon sort of doing a backflip on a ho off of a horse as she was firing arrows into a target. And it was just so stupid that it made me laugh. But um, uh, yeah, but uh, overall, really, really enjoyable film. Uh, Patty Jenkins did a great job as director. Uh, uh, really, really like the chemistry between Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. I thought they were excellent together. Uh, to the point where, you know, obviously this is set in the 1910s. Steve Trevor is not going to be in any Justice League movies. Uh, kind of makes me sad that we won't get to see more of them together. Um, that's not a spoiler at all. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, just really, really enjoyable movie, and, uh, you know, I did notice that, um, when they're on Paradise Island for the first, uh, I don't know, five minutes of, of the movie, uh, they, uh, they actually managed to brighten things up, they actually saturated the, uh, the, the screen, which, you know, if you've watched, you know, any of the Warner Brothers movies so far, it's all, like, uh, it's not necessarily desaturated, but the palette is much, much darker. Um, but you get like, uh, on Paradise Island, you get a few minutes of young Diana, which I, I really loved. I thought it was adorable. Um, but you get like this bright, beautiful place. It really did seem like paradise. And, uh, that quickly went away. <laughs> but, uh, it was just nice, and, like, it made me, like, just kind of sad that you just won't get that at all from the Warner Brothers, I think they call it the DCEU, the DC Extended Universe, um, which is kind of a silly name, like, you know, why not DCMU? I, I don't know, anyway, it's, it's not something to quibble over, it's just weird. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen Wonder Woman, go check it out. It was really, really fun. Um, uh, am I glad that I saw Pirates before this? I'm not sure. I, th I, I think I like this a little bit more than I like Pirates of the Caribbean. And I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I really like uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, but, uh... Well, eh, well, eh, either way. Saw it with a good, good friend of mine, The Hustle, uh, John Lord. So, uh, I guess I don't I really have much else to say about it. Just, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it, go out and see it. Uh, you know, the Justice League trailer was in front of it. And, you know, that's supposed to come out in November, and I don't know. I don't know how that's going to be. It's an entertaining trailer, if not just really weird but definitely uh, interesting. Um, and I don't think that this is a reflection on that. Because uh, Batty Jenkins... Like, I, clearly, Zack Snyder you know, didn't have much to do with Wonder Woman. There's, there's no chance that... Just, there's nothing Zack Snyder-y about that movie. Um, 
and uh, you know Justice League I really think is going to be all over the place I think it might actually be entertaining I don't know whether it'll be a good Justice League movie but I think it might be really entertaining uh, but I also think it's going to be all over the place because A clearly there's some studio notes going on I don't think Zack Snyder had the same amount of power going into Justice League that he did in the last two movies or, or you know, not counting Suicide Squad, which I still haven't seen. Um, but uh, but then you also have some reshoots by Joss Whedon. I really don't think Joss Whedon's going to have much to do with this movie. I think they're I think they're trying to play up the fact that you know. Well, so first of all, Scott Snyder, unfortunately, Scott Snyder. I keep saying Scott Snyder. Zack Snyder. <laughs> Scott Snyder is the guy who wrote Batman uh, for a while. <laughs> Zack Snyder. Uh, <laughs> Zack Snyder, unfortunately, you know, his, uh, his daughter committed suicide. It's a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, you know, really feel bad for him, uh, in that regard. But, um, yeah, he, he clearly had some studio notes going on here because they're, they're clearly trying to add a sense of humor to it, sort of guardians it up. You know, it's very, very obvious. Um, and then Joss Whedon is taking over some for some reshoots, and I really think that they're basically trying to. I think the studio is trying to make a point where they say, "Hey, you know, uh, you like the, the that Avengers movie, right? We got the Avengers guy. He's directing, you know, Justice League. He's not, but like, a, you know, it's like a sense of good say, you know, the Avengers guy, Joss Whedon. Yeah, you know." Uh, so come see this movie. It's not like you didn't like Batman vs Superman. It's cool because it's not like Batman vs Superman. It's like it's it's like uh, it's like Avengers, you know. Uh, but at this point in the game, there's not much Joss Whedon can do to sort of change that movie. The editor will probably have more of an effect on the movie than Joss Whedon will. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go see that in November. I I I, th I think uh, Thor will probably be more fun. Um, although I have serious concerns about Thor as well. Anyway, this is going on long enough. Go see Wonder Woman. If Justice, you know, go see Justice League. Go see Thor. Go see all that good stuff. Go see some movies. They, there's, there's some good movies out right now. You know, go see Baywatch. Go see Pirates of the Caribbean. If you haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean, go see that before all those. Because, uh, I really like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um... And, uh, gave Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, all right. So, this has been Buck Lightning, you know, on vacation, seeing a movie. Bye now.